OK, so it's the end of the season down at your allotment, but you always fancy growing something a bit different. Last year, it was cherry trees, and I successfully planted about four of them on the allotment. This year, I wanted to grow sloes, but also damson. So what I've done is, out and about, if I see a damson tree or a sloe tree, otherwise known as a blackthorn, I've collected some, and I've left them in my garden to rot, but now's the time, now that they have rotted, to get the actual seeds out, let them dry properly, and then I'll crack open the seeds, subject them to more of a chill, and then I'm going to plant them out in some compost. So this is the first bit. It's not a pretty sight, really, but then autumn and death and decay in plants, I suppose that's how it is. So what I'm doing is I've got my collection of seeds that I've taken from over the year, damson and, of course, um, blackthorn or slow, the blackthorn slow, and I'm just basically putting them into a bowl and I'm washing them off with my hands. Those that have been washed off go into this bowl here. From here they'll be dried. Once they're dried, I'll then get my trusty nutcracker. Now you can use a vice if you want. That's if they're very tough. Okay, so now we have the finished product so far. I've managed to clean uh, my mixture of seeds. Here I've got damson, slow or blackthorn, also one or two other various plum varieties that I've liked. Um, not to say that these trees are going to be any more vigorous than the parent plant, because remember they are seeds, and it depends whether they've been cross-pollinated, but we'll see. The other thing I forgot to say, of course, yes, you could use a nutcracker, but you have to be gentle in opening the, seeds, opening the um, husks on these, so I don't want to damage the seeds. I will plant these out in compost. Um, I'll make sure they've been kept freezing cold, but I'll keep them outside once they're planted in compost and see if any grow in the springtime when we'll catch them again. I cut the old apple open from the riverside specimen. Not sure what type it is, but that tree survived over eons in a wild environment. And then I split the middle part with the seeds. There's a couple in there, possibly one of them is viable, apart with my fingers. But very, very careful. Obviously, if you use a knife, um, you should use that under close supervision. This is how you find the seeds yourself. I suppose split it apart with my finger so I can get to where the seeds are in the apples and there'll be two in this one here. It's a good idea also to put labels on your pot so you know which seeds are in which and which ones work and which ones don't. So I've just got some um, sticky labels on a roll on my pen and I'll get on with that. And I've just put them in pretty shallow at the moment but uh, I'll put a bit more of the compost over you. Like I said, use decent multi, you know, potting compost. Don't use anything that's got mould in it already. Um, although which is from like leaf bark, uh, leaf or bark, um, you should really use um, proper multi compost and check, that, as I say, that there's no you know, mould or fungus in it because it's not very good for potting out these seeds from um, wild specimens. If you find fruit fall, I'd, I tend to collect bits and pieces and see if you can, I can propagate these at home. So basically I've covered the seeds now and that'll be it, I'll be, they'll, be left out, they'll be left outside for the winter in the frost and whatever snow happens but that's the nature of propagation really um, I'm not don't have a glass house and, and uh, I think it should just be left outside and that's what I did with my cherry trees when it comes to your seeds that is your um, things like blackthorn gauges and damsons um, you could use a nutcracker I'll try that first if that doesn't work I'm going to try a little mini vice I've got inside I hold the seed like so at this angle okay and then basically the idea is to apply enough pressure just to crack it and you hear the cracking sound and then I'll work on that more this is um, what I found inside the kernel of an old uh, damson tree damsons were brought back to Britain by the Crusaders but before that long before that they were brought across by the Romans not too far away from where I found this uh, damson tree it was actually growing on a roadside there is an old Roman villa Possibly this is a survivor from, uh, you know, progeny thousands of years old, but that's what I'm trying to grow, which is a damson, there's a seed in there. Whether it's viable or not, I don't know, I just keep, I will plant as many as I can from what I've collected in little pots and see if any can take. The slow tree, otherwise called the blackthorn, there does seem to be quite a few varieties that grow here in England. One in particular that I found in North Notch was by a roadside, and I did pick some of the sloes. I intended to use them to make some slow jelly, which I did make. Um, it's quite an astringent 
potato is quite a strong taste. You can add other fruits such as apple to it or plum and I don't tend to over sweeten but this is what what I did is I left the excess of um, the fruits that had rotted outside of my garden um, and this is what you get and it's from these quite sort of circular um, there's the kernel you obviously have to cut that open and I've used obviously a nutcracker and it's some of these seeds I've got here are from the sloes and some are from uh, the damson tree which I'm uh, very fond of trying to grow a damson myself so these are, are the ones I'm going to plant out in the potting uh, compost here okay so that's all of my seeds planted out I may have another go but this is a good time to do it winter this is actually Christmas Day and here they all are and I've labelled them up dams and slow and up at the end there one there it's an apple which is a river specimen particularly interested to see how well they grow but they are all from locally local wild sources